Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So, let's get to it. So, Scorpio, somebody was expecting high honor. Yeah, I'm saying that this is somebody who was out here judging you. They could have been, yeah, I was just about to say that. This person was judging you and your lover and your connection <laughs> and it's receipts how they was behind the scenes doing shit so like what you out here judging somebody but got the nerve to be doing shit behind the scene or somebody was out here judging your choices and love but it's receipts on how they was doing shit behind the scenes this is going to shock the fuck out of you <laughs> Like, how dare you talk about somebody and you out this bitch spreading salt and shit behind the scenes, though. So, let's see what's going on. Why is adjudication here? Yeah. Somebody has been judging you, but had the nerve to be one of the reasons why you had a heavy burden. You're being told to listen to your intuition. I'm seeing that somebody was judging you. Now they weigh down. Because you're receiving good news and love. I'm also saying that you're self-sufficient, independent, and somebody else is going through a painful ending because you've got victory and success over this toxic-ass couple. Now they're about to go through a tower. They're mentally stuck in trap. Yeah, there's a king of cups here and a king of wands who you're moving away from. Yeah, to receive your wish fulfillments. So somebody is stuck in the tower because they was obsessed with getting victory and success through causing you a painful ending, through betraying you, and you're still so sufficient and independent, you've already listened to your intuition, and somebody else has weighed the fuck down. Why is lovers here for Scorpio? Yeah, six of wands in reverse. Whoever this lovers is, they're having a fall from grace because they did an injustice. Yeah. These are people who did not have love for you. They're stuck in the past. Meanwhile, you worked on yourself and you're having the inner strength to push through. <laughs> yeah, you're taking a break from these motherfuckers because they keep causing conflict and it's to cause you sleepless nights. So somebody wants you to be in fear. They want you to be in anxiety because what a group of people is what don't like you. That's why you laying shit to rest now because you have the inner strength and the self-confidence to overcome self-doubt. You've done the work. Meanwhile, somebody is stuck in the past. This is why they're not giving you any love. And this is why they created this injustice. And this is why they're having a fall from grace. It's just that simple. Why is marriage here? Yeah. I'm saying that somebody is insecure about who you date. Queen of Cups. So they're projecting on your finances and watching to see if it worked. This is somebody who wants you to go through a heavy burden. Because you're listening to your intuition. Which is helping you to be self-sufficient and independent. Yeah. Somebody want to cause you a painful ending. Because you're self-sufficient and independent. And you're listening to your intuition. Which is weighing them down. This person is watching your finances. And they're projecting Queen of Cups. And it's all because of who you date. On why they're insecure. They're insecure about a long-term relationship you're in. Or a marriage. Why is courthouse here? Like I said, you're going to be getting some type of proof or evidence or something is documented. Yeah, full of swords. I'm saying that you're taking a break from somebody. Seven of Wands and you're standing your ground. And you're blocking this Queen of Pentacles so that you can alchemize the energy. I'm saying that somebody's about to reap what the fuck they sow for doing this, what? So somebody was doing what? Root work to end you? That energy was already alchemized. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they're fucking blocked. Something is being laid to rest for them. Because they were sending shit towards you at a distance. And then trying to cloak themselves. You've already listened to your intuition. You know that this is your divine master. Like somebody, yeah, somebody is goofy for goober. They're goofy goober. Yeah. Why is tolling labor here? Yeah. Working hard behind the scenes and watching to see if it worked. Yeah, trying to slow up your progress. Because you was out here following your passions. And you was getting equal take, equal give and take. Yeah, you're getting good news because you healed. And somebody missed the opportunity. This is why you're on a brand new journey now. And they're under judgment. Because you persevered. You could be in a long-term relationship. 
Yeah, I'm saying that you persevere. You're the last one standing. And somebody else is under fucking judgment. Because you were innocent. And they tried to, what, get you rejected? What, they tried to, re they tried to um make you miss the opportunity to heal? But you're still receiving good news because you're healing. You're getting what you deserve. Say like you put out good energy. You're getting good energy. And you're following your passions. And you are finishing what you fucking started. And you got somebody watching you. You got three bitches here doing shit behind the scenes watching you. Like, how cowardly is that? Clowns. What we got going on? Look. Cyberbully, stalk you online, behind those fake accounts, sending threats through fake pages, lying about a pregnancy to get people on their side, manipulation at its finest. We got new number, who this, leaving the past behind, and starting over. And it says, what was once hidden is now being exposed. The jig is up. You got a long distance relationship. It could work. You just got to allow it and not rush it. This could be with a nurse, a PCA, a CNA, a LPN, and you're needing a spiritual bath, okay? Because you got dark energy surrounding you at this time. But like I said, somebody called themselves trying to cyber bully you. But through fake accounts, sending threats, through fake pages. Why is this here? Yeah, Six of Swords. You've moved to common waters. You're healing. You're making progress. You're moving on. Things are coming down for you. And with the Ace of Wands, you're... The you're in a new beginning. You got good news. It's like you have a creative spark. You have a talent and it's growing. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I'm saying that you could be dating someone. Six of Cups from a past life. And with the Three of Pentacles, you got three bitches working together. Okay? Ace of Pentacles. So you and somebody from your past life, y'all are good teamwork. Y'all have potential for abundance. And I see y'all closing out a karmic cycle with a mother figure. Yeah, whoever mother this is, they missed the opportunity. Because you're out here following your passions. And you're the last one standing. Yeah, they call themselves projecting. <laughs> You've already closed out this cycle. And you have a financial new beginning. And I'm seeing that it's teamwork. Here with this past life lover. You're definitely dealing with a charmer. Okay, somebody that's, you know, wants to sweep you off your feet. They're very warm, tender, affectionate. And um, this is your brand new passionate beginning. And this is you moving on to common waters. Why is lying about a pregnancy to get people on their side? Manipulation at its finest. Why is this here? Yeah, three of cups. This is a third party. This is a motherfucking third party. Listen to your intuition. Because that's the fucking truth. Somebody took this action. Because you could be out here dating. And what? Your ex and them work together for money. But it's the end of that cycle. Yeah, like I said, whoever you're dating, y'all having a brand new passion beginning. And you're getting truth and clarity, possibly through a tarot reading, which could be me. Or you're getting truth and clarity with this Ace of Swords, High Priestess, through listening to your intuition. Three of Cups about a third party. This third party is the bitch that's lying about a pregnancy. To get motherfuckers on their side. Like, weirdo. Why is new number? Who this? Leaving the past behind and starting over? Yeah, Queen of Cups, this is you. <laughs> this is you. Two of Pentacles, you're balancing out the energy. Queen of Swords, so you're balancing out, you know, your Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords energy. So you're not too loving, too caring, and you're not too logic. You're finding a meaning, okay? Yeah. Page of Wands, which is bringing you in good news. Nine of Pentacles, you're showing up in such sufficient independent star card. You've healed. Five of Cups, your losses. And there's the Queen of, uh, Queen of Wands here who jumped on a bandwagon in a community to attack you just to get victory and success. But you had the strength to overcome. I'm saying that, yeah, you finished what you started and somebody is now trying to make a break for it. Yeah, a couple. Because they sabotage themselves. Yeah, they're like, for real. This Queen of Wands has lost. Because you was able to heal. On your fucking own. You're sewn up as sex efficient, independent. You know, don't need a nigga or a bitch for shit. And you got good news coming in. Because you're setting clear cut boundaries. And finding a balance. With being, you know. 
mature, listening to your intuition, and being secure within yourself. You feel me? With that Queen of Cups, it's like you're emotionally intelligent, but not just emotionally intelligent. You're secure, like you're loyal, you're faithful, you're nice. It's It says, what was once hidden is now being exposed. The jig is up, bitches. Why is this here? Yeah, tower. I mean, it's about tower. Temperance. It's something that's being alchemized for you and your lover. And somebody else is being sacrificed. Something is being laid to rest, Queen of Cups. So that you can balance out the energy. Again, somebody wants you to be bitter and cold. You feel me? The Queen of Swords is... It's not necessarily bitter, okay? But she's not the queen of cups either. Like, you a water sign. You don't need to be too much in this air energy. But it's like somebody wanted you to be bitter, but you're both. You go from the queen of swords to the queen of cups. And you're taking a break from somebody. You're letting them go. This could be a couple so that you can alchemize the energy. Or this can be you letting go of lover. Or well, this could be you choosing to let go of something so that you can alchemize the energy. It's just that simple. And you letting go of something, alchemizing the energy, is exposing somebody else. It's just period. Yeah. This could be somebody from your past that worked together with somebody for finances. Motherfuckers wanted you to conform. But you listen to your intuition about people at a distance from you. Yeah, you listen to your intuition about this King of Cups, Pisces, doing magic on a family member. Or this is a family member who was doing magic, a King of Cups, a Pisces, to be seen as innocent. This is their way of trying to control a situation. So somebody wanted to control a situation. They wanted to be seen as innocent to their family. Yeah, the jig is fucking up. You got a long distance relationship here. Like I said, it could work. You just need to allow it and don't rush it. Yeah, four of pentacles. Again, don't control it. You could be trying to control it, you know? With the temperance, you're being told to let things flow. Page of wands, because this is how you're going to get your good news. Nine of pentacles, you're already showing up as such sufficient, independent, financially stable, secure, star card, heal. You're healing at this time. And you're in this positive energy. You're creating out of peace. And you're having hope and faith. You have somebody else lost. A queen of wands who jumped on a bear wagon with a community to attack you. You've got victory and success over an attack that a community did. They jumped on a bear wagon with this queen of wands and lost because you was able to heal. And again, you're self-sufficient, independent, receiving good news because you're going with the flow. And somebody else has been trying to control something at a distance. So with this long, this relationship, this ain't got to be a partner. This could be family members. You could have moved out of town. You probably don't stay in your same neighborhood or you probably don't stay with motherfuckers. You probably could stay, you know, across the water. It's like somebody was trying to control something across the water. And it's like, the only thing you got to do was go with the flow. Like, allow motherfuckers to do what they do. Why is nurse here? PCA, CNA, LPN, RN. Yeah, five of swords. This person is about to go through a, a defeat. Because you're walking away, death card, and you're letting their ass go. Ace of Wands, you're taking this action. To have a new beginning with somebody that you're dating and it's causing conflict because your wishes is being fulfilled as you move to calmer waters. Yeah, it's like you're setting clear-cut boundaries, bro. And you're moving the fuck on. You're healing. You're making progress. And this is how your wishes is being fulfilled. But there's conflict surrounding somebody that you're dating. You're being told to take action. To let something go. And, you know, walk away. Just walk away. Because at the end of the day, this conflict that's going on, it's like, 
The five of swords already talk about, like, this could be you. You could be standing ten toes down. Like, what, bitch? No. I'm going to fuck with who the fuck. Like, for real. You could be, I could fuck with whoever the fuck I want to fuck with. But you're being told to let that shit go. Because you're a Scorpio. You transform. You're not supposed to be keep doing the same thing over and over. You get bored like that. You're being told to take this brand new beginning. Take action. Take the initiative. Yeah, with somebody that you're dating. Even though it's conflict, competition surrounding it. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Just continue to move the common orders and set clear-cut boundaries. And make sure that you are balancing the energy because you are a water sign. You know, make sure that you're taking breaks. And make sure that you're letting go. Choose this path. Okay? I'm also seeing that um, you could be letting go a couple because they're insecure about your long-term relationship. Yeah, motherfuckers is heartbroken that they're under fucking judgment. Yeah, they're heartbroken. And they're watching you being liberated. And getting victory and success. Like, motherfuckers, like... Like I say, like... Laugh. <laughs> like, for real, laugh. Because somebody really had you fucked up. Yeah. With this spiritual bath, you're being told to take a spiritual bath because your mental could be overloaded and you need to empty it. It's time for you to relax and rest. You need peace. You could be a high priestess. You need this spiritual bath. Okay? Why a spiritual bath is needed? Yeah, five of swords. <laughs> it came out in the reverse. The spiritual bath is needed so that, that it could be a spiritual resolution. So that you can move on. So that things can be compromised. So that you can communicate and end conflict. Okay? Do the spiritual bath. Choose that path. So that you can let go. Okay? Because there could be a misunderstanding going on. With family. That's causing pain. I'm saying that motherfuckers is watching you. Be liberated. And you're getting victory and success over this Queen of Pentacles. And this Queen of Pentacles is weighed the fuck down. Because you're so sufficient independent. And you healed. And they lost. Yeah, whoever this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands has lost. Like, they, they. Oh, my God. I don't know who these two bitches is. But somebody is burdened. A queen of pentacles. Because you overcame some type of obstacle that was in your path. And now their dumb ass is under judgment. I'm saying that somebody is watching you. And heartbroken. By this long term relationship. This is somebody that's insecure. That they've been let go of. This is a fucking couple. That's wanting to come to a peaceful resolution. They want to move on. They want to compromise. They want to end conflict. But it's up to you Scorpio. Like I said. You a Scorpio. You don't need to be holding on to certain shit. I'm a Scorpio myself. I'm a T. Okay? Like, certain just certain shit that we don't need to do as a Scorpio. Like, because when we get mad, we hold on to that shit. And it's not good for us. Like, why stop our progress because of some jealous ass hoes? It says that they insecure about a relationship. That there is conflict. Meaning, bitches is, is, is petty. It's petty conflict. You know, surrounding a relationship. Why even feed into it? don't yeah you could be holding on yeah you're holding on to some shit let that shit go don't hold on to that shit or somebody calls they self trying to an aquarius or a capricorn they call they self trying to intimidate you trying to bully you trying to be aggressive so that they could try to control you like get out of here what we got for school video? we got a queen of wands who jumped on a bandwagon with a community this bitch got mental health issues and she's about to be what she so She's being ghosted for creating this illusion and trying to attack you. So somebody, look, with the Knight of Swords, that's an attack. This is somebody leading a whole fucking group. Seven of Cups with an illusion. Hermit, because they got ghosted. Seven of Pentacles. And they was plotting and planning. Devil, because they got mental health issues. Four of Wands in this community. Page of Pentacles. Somebody jumped on the bedway in this Queen of Wands. And that's the motherfucking truth. <sighs> Somebody's been projecting on you. That's the fucking truth. Again, the moon card. You're being told to listen to your intuition. Because something is just a fucking illusion. Somebody is fucking insecure. 
and they want to try to control something through conflict. But whatever, but whatever conflict is going on is because of lies and it's being exposed because you've already healed. Uh, yeah, you've healed your losses and you're taking a break, Queen of Cups, so that you can balance out your Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, like somebody think that they know you. Somebody think that they know what you got going on when they don't. That's why insecure. You got a Pisces here. They created a fucking illusion, bro. Out of insecurities, out of a misunderstanding, and then they try to control something from an illusion that they created. All this conflict that's going on, Seven of Swords, is because of a lie. And with the Sun card, it's going to be exposed. Why is the Moon card here? For Scorpio, why is the Moon card here? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Something is being exposed. How somebody jumped on a bad wagon, Eight of Swords, to. Have you feeling powerless, two of cups, in a partnership? Ten of cups. And like I said, you are in a long-term relationship. Y'all are equal. Y'all give each other the same love. And somebody is powerless to this shit because you have a side of new beginning and they're insecure about it. It's just that simple, babe. Somebody is insecure about a solid new beginning you have. And it's because they're powerless to this partnership you're in. You're going to have this long-term relationship regardless and this is what's bringing somebody pain and heartbreak why is the four of pentacles here yes seven of cups somebody tried to control something with an illusion they out here painting pictures to people look at this shit they attacked you did magic a king of cups you have a pisces here doing magic leading a whole group of people off an illusion because they want to control the illusion. So they're riding up these people to do magic on you. A Pisces who you've already listened to your intuition about. Why is this five of wands here? Yeah, it's conflict, battle, argument, disagreements. You know? Empress. So motherfuckers is what? All this conflict is surrounding a mother figure. Nine of Wands, who you persevered against. Nine of Cups and got your wish fulfilled. So basically, you got good news coming towards you. Your wishes is coming to fulfillment. And it's because you per you persevered over this mother figure who was causing all this conflict. So it is, we got a mother and we got a Pisces. Scrimp card. You have the scrimp to overcome. Now you're getting good news. Your wishes is being fulfilled. You persevere, Empress. I'm also saying somebody's in competition with you because you're the Empress. And you're persevering, getting your wishes fulfilled. And you have good news coming towards you. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Like I said, somebody was being deceptive. This is a cheater. This is a trickster. You know, this is a thief. This is an enemy disguised as a friend that tries to go tick and tap for you. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Now they want to make a break for it. Yeah, they want to make a break for it because they are feeling trapped. They feel trapped because you got victory and success. You've healed and alchemized the energy that they've been projecting. These motherfuckers been projecting. And you've been able to alchemize the energy and heal and get victory and success. Meanwhile, somebody else is feeling trapped because they a liar. A liar. Like, what, what are we talking about? A fucking liar. Why is the sun card here? And it's being exposed. The light is shining bright on this liar. And how they cause this conflict because they want to control a fucking illusion. Why is the sun card here? Yeah. This masculine is being exposed. Who's being exposed is a masculine. This masculine is being ghosted. And this queen of wands is getting karma. So, the scales are about to be made balanced for this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sag. They're about to be ghosted by your masculine because they're about to be exposed. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, you mastered yourself. You did the work. And then you get to close out this karmic cycle. I'm saying that somebody called they still trying to intimidate you, bully you. You know, a group of people from your past life. They're getting fucking karma because you were innocent when it came to this family trying to end something for you. They even went spying and they're seeing that you're being liberated and that you're getting victory and success. I'm saying that she was able to balance out the energy 
queen of swords because you set clear-cut boundaries and moved on you chose this path and somebody chose to project on you because they wanted you to walk away or they wanted somebody to yeah they wanted somebody to walk away from you so that you could be in a nine of swords going through fear going through anxiety having negative thoughts that's what somebody wanted you feel me Four of Swords. I'm saying that something is being laid to rest, though. You're taking a break, Queen of Cups, and that's the truth. And as you take this break, Queen of Cups, truth and clarity is being exposed because somebody else is going through a tower. This could be somebody that you dated. They took some type of action to... So, somebody is going through a tower. Some type of chaos, destruction, setting up people. And it's because whoever you're dating, they're having a new beginning. And they're taking action to have a new beginning, a new relationship. Yeah, this lover. They're falling behind their factions and they're blocking. They're protecting you. They're being assertive and they are meaning what the fuck they say. That's the truth. And they're giving you equal give and take. Somebody lost in this community. Yeah, somebody has mental health issues. And they're about to reap what they sow. This Taurus and this Virgo. They're about to be heartbroken. And whoever this king of wands is, they're listening to their intuition about who they're married to. Because somebody paid somebody to have the valid loyalty towards you. This is a third party or you're leaving out in the cold. So somebody wanted you to go through poverty. And they wanted you to go through uh, an ending, defeat. You've already listened to your intuition about somebody at a distance from you. And this is why you reject them. This queen of pentacles. They're weighed the fuck down because you're self-sufficient, independent, and you had the inner strength to overcome them. Like, the fuck is going on? Somebody weird as fuck. We just gonna say that. They weird. Somebody wanted you to be pressed about them. They wanted you to be scared. Oh my God. Is there many people and it's just me? Like, boo. <laughs> if you watch a full Scorpio, I'm gonna tell you. Scorpios are usually loners. They usually don't really like bitches. They really don't really like niggas. I'm just going to give you the tea. Like, what you doing is stupid. Don't do it again. Because at the end of the day, you're just hurting yourself. Yeah, somebody is a fucking thief and an impersonator. And they're threatened, trying to dirt dig on you. Because they want to steal your creativity, boo. That's what's going on. You got a creativity muncher. They want to steal your ideas. They want to copy your work. They want to duplicate and feed off you. But got the nerd to be looking for dirt on you. Because they're threatened, intimidated. Because they want to be just like you. But they're a thief. Hmm. Well, that sums it up. A thief impersonator that's threatened. <laughs> Where is thief here? Who is this thief? This thief is somebody that you walked away from. You're rejecting this person. They're the distance from you. Wave the fuck down. A queen of pentacles. Who you probably listen to your intuition about. Now they're going through a painful ending. Because you're leaving them out in the cold. Why is impersonator here? Yeah, they want to they wanna be you so bad that they act like you, dress like you, look like you, copy you. What the fuck? Yeah. This is somebody that's doing magic over a king of cups. So, so somebody is doing magic on you king of cups because you're free from this family. So they call themselves trying to attack you with illusions. But you're the last one standing. And you got a mother here that's lying through her fucking teeth. Because she's insecure. And she's trying to control who you give your heart to. It's like, weirdo. Like, what? Why is impersonator here? Yeah, they're intimidated, threatened, bothered. Okay? Much. Yeah, three of cups. You got a group of bitches here threatened by you. In competition with you because of this long-term relationship you in. Because of this partnership you in. And they can't do shit about it. But jump on the bear wagon. And every time they jump on the bear wagon, they get karma. And whoever this queen of wands is, she thought that she can cloak herself. Now she's about to go through an ending with her man. So he, 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 he. It, was, it ain't going to be fun when your nigga leave you. Why is dirt digging? Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Yeah, fool card. I'm saying that somebody looking for dirt on you, but you're innocent. You're free. You're original. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that you could have been, you you could have been. Yeah, you're, yo, know, you're leaving this person out in the cold, which is causing them a 
painful ending because you listen to your intuition about this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles chose to move the common waters because you cut their ass off. So somebody ain't got no choice but to move the common waters because you cut them off. You're not playing with them. It is what it is. Why is creativity here? Steal your ideas, copy your work, duplicate and feed off you. Yeah, two of cups. This is a couple. King of cups. So this is either a Cancer or a Pisces. So somebody partner up with a Pisces. Hmm. I really feel like this is somebody that you're in a relationship with. A King of Cups. Somebody that you show love to. That's the fucking truth. This person has been doing magic to try to control you or hold on to you, Queen of Cups. Because they're insecure. Well, somebody is being deceptive. They're insecure, Queen of Cups. And they're holding back how they did magic. That's the truth. For you to accept some love offer from a King of Cups who you're in a relationship with. Wheel of Fortune, what goes up must come down. This could be an ex of yours. They work with a group of people to try to defeat you. And now that it's the end of the cycle, because you worked on yourself, you're getting victory and success and good news. And also, your wishes is going to be fulfilled. So whoever this creativity monster is, I heard that this could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. Okay? They can have bad habits. They can have a drug addiction. Or they just have mental health issues. <laughs> well... Yeah, you was in this self-love energy, and somebody wanted to hold you back. What we got going on, Scorpio? Yeah, death. So there's about to be some type of ending. Yeah, so somebody was trying to harm you. They planned this, and they was out here getting some type of knowledge or advice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you could be dealing with... A soulmate and somebody was coaching somebody on how to plan your ending <laughs> this is it why is death here for Scorpio yeah somebody's under judgment for that something is being liberated about somebody that you're dating Queen of Cups and their family who's been trying to play mind games they are weighed the fuck down because you listen to your intuition. Now you're self-sufficient, independent, high priestess. And it's because you went within to get guidance about people that are at a distance from you. And now that you're taking a break, they're being blocked. Definitely this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles is blocked. You're taking a break from them. They're at a distance from you. This could be a Virgo who you listen to your intuition about. And now that you're so sufficient independent, they want to come in and apologize because they feel way down. Did they try to win at all costs with a family member? Queen of Cups. Like, this is weird. Why is schedule here? Yeah, somebody playing this shit. They plan to slow up your progress, to slow up your finances. And watch, knowing that you was innocent, knowing that you was original, knowing that you was free. This is why you got victory and success now. Because this is fair. <laughs> I'm saying that you show nothing but love in the past. And you mastered yourself. And you had the strength to walk away. To learn a lesson. And you got three bitches here that's getting karma. And they're heartbroken. That's the truth. I'm saying that the truth is motherfuckers is heartbroken that they're getting karma. A group of three bitches. Because you've already learned a lesson and walked away. The lesson was for you to stand in your power and continue to work on yourself. In the past, you showed nothing but love to these people. And it's only fair for you to get victory and success on your new journey. And somebody is watching you. Yep. Make progress. Oh, well, bitch. Why is coach here? Yeah, with this, with this Six of Pentacles in reverse, whatever somebody was coaching somebody, it didn't come into fruition. They was not able to take from you. Page of Wands, and that's good news for you. Star card, you've healed. Two of Cups, a partnership. Ace of Wands, and then you're taking action. Eight of Swords, somebody. So basically, somebody is going through a tower. So hold on. So somebody was projecting toxic, dark energy. 
and you overcame it. I'm saying that somebody is about to go to a painful ending. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Masculine, and a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, Masculine. They're in a tower, and they're powerless, because you took action with a partner to heal, and now this is bringing you in good news, and somebody else is about to lose something. Yeah, because of the path they chose. Why is eternal love? Yeah, Knight of Swords, somebody tried to attack. Somebody tried to attack your soulmate. Because they're free. And they're getting victory and success. But this is fair. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, somebody is attacking y'all. But it's what it's like whatever the fuck y'all got going on is fair. It's, it's, it's balanced. It's like, if y'all did have karma, y'all already serve y'all karma. Like, with the Six of Wands justice, it's fair for you to get this victory and success. Ace of Cups and love. It's fair for somebody to love you unconditionally. Six of Cups. Because in the past, you did the work. Now you're standing ten toes down in your power. I'm also seeing that you had the strength to walk away and learn the lesson. When it comes to these three bitches, now they're getting karma. And they're heartbroken. That's the truth. They're in hella regret. Definitely this King of Pentacles because they sabotaged themselves. And you're moving on. Receiving your wish fulfillments. And letting go of people, places, and things that don't resonate with you. You're reaping what you sow with a masculine. And it's because you set clear-cut boundaries and you're self-sufficient independent. So this is giving... You're receiving the fruits of your labor. Okay? And um, you set clear-cut boundaries with a child's father who was plotting on you. To end you. And this was their wish fulfillment. And you still moved on. And they're stuck. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're crying over spilled milk because they know you know the truth. And now they're heartbroken that the will is turning in your favor. And you got three bitches here that you've already learned a lesson from. That's why you're walking away from them and you're standing ten toes down and your energy is like you had the strength to work on yourself in the past. You had the strength to do the work. So, again... It's fair for you to receive this love. It's fair for you to get victory and success on this new beginning. But they keep attacking you. Like, it's really giving. You're about to get karma. Because they keep taking impulsive ass actions to slow up your progress. And looking, they are choosing this path. That's the truth. This is the choices that they're making. And they're going to be left out of the code for creating this illusion. They will be exposed by the divine. For having divided loyalty, definitely this queen of wands, it's the end of a cycle with this bitch lying on you to get shit. Like, bitch, no. Move on with your life, ho. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, yeah, Scorpio, that's all I got for you. If the message resonates, make sure you like, share, subscribe.